It's the ever turbulent and volatile Pakistan politics which is precarious yet again after violence and rigging in the run-up to the polls, confusion and chaos on who will don the Prime Minister's Sherwani. Well, the front-runner Nawaz Sharif and his arch-nemesis Imran Khan, who is locked up in jail, have both claimed victory. And Pakistan seems to be headed for a coalition government most likely in yet another chapter in Pakistan's 70-year-long failed tryst with democracy. Well, the biggest takeaway was the overwhelming and unexpected support for the PTI-backed independents, almost an outpouring of support for their leader and the captain of contemporary Pakistan politics, Imran Khan, who was locked up in jail, something that the army also would not have anticipated. Now, with the army's script gone awry, a Nawaz-led coalition with a tacit approval, uh, approval from the military seems a foregone conclusion, but an outcome reflecting the popular public mood is unlikely. Before I get my guests in, take a look at this report to understand the big takeaways of the Pakistan story right now. Chaos after the polls in Pakistan as Imran's supporters protest as the results show big wins for independence backed by Imran's party. On the other hand, local media suggests Nawaz Sharif and Bilawal Bhutto are set to join hands. कि हम इस मूल को भंवर से निकालने की तदबीर करें हमने पहले भी अल्लाह के फजल करम से मूल को मुश्किलात से निकाला है और आज भी निकालने का एहतमाम कर रहे हैं मीनवाइल इमरान क्लेम विक्ट्री इन एन ए आई स्पीच फ्रॉम बिहाइंड बार्स कंग्रेचुलेटिंग हिस्स सपोर्टर्स नवाज शरीफ एक कम जर्फ इंसान है जिसने ऑफिशियल नतज के मुताबिक 30 सीट्स पीछे होते हुए भी विक्ट्री स्पीच कर दी है दो साल के सख्त जुल्म और नाइंसाफियों के बावजूद हमने 2024 हजार चौबीस इलेक्शन दो तहाई अक्सरियत से जीत लिया है विद रिजल्ट डिस्प्यूटेड एंड स्टिल नॉट क्लियर मोर देन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स आफ्टर पोलिंग The US said it was concerned about allegations of fraud and interference in the election process. David Cameron said there were issues with the fairness and lack of inclusivity in the elections. The internet is still disrupted in areas. The overwhelming support for Imran has no doubt upset the Pakistan army script, which including putting Nawaz in the PM's chair. The army chief addressed the political turmoil today saying the nation needs to move away from anarchy to stable hands adding that elections are not about winning or losing and that parties must show political maturity but the army's statement and sharif's assurances will do little to assuage the pakistani people whose dream of a smooth election seems more distant than ever before with kartik ke bhattacharya bureau report in the tv So well on left right and center tonight we discuss the peculiar politics of Pakistan and the lingering post poll anarchy with one election and two winners joining me on the panel tonight i'm being joined by Iftikhar Chaudhry vice president of the Pakistan Tehreek-e-Insaf from Punjab also with me Khurram Dastgeer who's a spokesperson of Nawaz Sharif's party the PMLN Munizah Jahangir who's senior journalist from Pakistan is also with us and Taj Haider senior leader of the Pakistan People's Party is also on the panel thanks very much all for joining us i'm uh, going to cross to you first iftikhar saab is it now a done deal that uh, nawaz sharif is going to be the prime minister with uh, perhaps a coalition uh, government with uh, the ppp and iftikhar saab before i come to you let me go across to khuram uh, dastgeer saab i meant uh, to ask this question of you do we consider this a done deal now that is going to be a coalition government with nawaz at the helm that's the people of pakistan uh, have mandated on the 8th uh, there's a fractured mandate and i would uh, contest very much your characterization of anarchy because we have clear mandates in all four provinces so it's very clear who is going to form governments there and uh, in the center uh, very much like following uh, uh, many other democracies that uh, parties are becoming more region oriented and the trend continues this is uh, to counter that this is anarchy this is the sixth election uh, that has been conducted uh, this century in in pakistan 
So we are uh, But Kuran Saab, how would you respond to the critics? How would you respond to the critics or the naysayers who would say that this is against the popular public mood, which was very much in favor of the PTI-backed independence in a sense? The reason I say this is because uh, you cannot have, say, just because they won in one province, the election was fair there. And wherever they have lost, the election was not fair. Mm. If the election was fair, it was fair in all four provinces and the whole country. And if it wasn't fair, then it was unfair everywhere. So if That's they are point. in one province, they have to then uh, accept that the election was nationally fair. They cannot just pick and choose that where they win, the election okay, was Interesting fair. point there. Let me get Iftikhar Chaudhary of the uh, PTI to respond to that. Iftikhar Saab, how would you respond to that, uh, uh, to what Khuram Saab is saying, that, you know, you cannot pick and choose. If the election was fair in one province, it's most mm -hmm. likely that the election was fair nationally. Uh, okay. uh, I would like to say something in our native la language. Bilkul, go ahead. I want to add add something very important. Kuram I know very well from, he was, I know very well uh, since last 20, 30 years we, we know each other. I just want to talk about Kuram Sahib, if in the People's Party starts to hold a big hold, if they are winning there in the Sindh, then सिंह की एक और बड़ी पार्टी जिसने कराची को लीड किया हुआ है वो भी रौला डाल रही है वो भी रफड़ डाली है उन्होंने एक्सेप्ट नहीं किया इसको तो आप ये क्यों कह सकते हैं कि भाई एक रीजन जाहर है केपीके में शुरू से तकरीबन तीन कह सकते हैं आप 15 बरस से हम लोग पर इफ्तार साहब जो कि कुरम साहब ने कही वो ये कही कि अगर अगर आप ये कह रहे हैं कि एक प्रोविंस में जहां पर आपको मैंडेट मिला है वहां पर अगर इलेक्शंस फेयर है तो पाकिस्तान के बाकी प्रोविंसेस में फेयर क्यों नहीं है जहां पर पीएमएलएन को मैंडेट मिला है ये ये मैं कह रहा हूं कि पाकिस्तान के बाकी प्रोविंस में इन लोगों ने जिस तरह अपने कैंडिडेट को जितवाया है और पूरी रात तक वो हारे हुए लोग सुबह सवेरे उठने के बाद जब अपने आप को रिजल्ट देखेंगे तो उनको तो हैरानगी होगी हम तो पूरे पाकिस्तान की पार्टी हमारा तो ये the delay in the announcement and the rigging allegations in the run up to the polls certainly very concerning in fact has been condemned by the US and the UK as well I'll come to that Taj Haider of the PPP is also with us Haider sahab aap batayen how do you look at the outreach from Nawaz Sharif kai log ye kahenge ki bhai ab just to keep Imran out of the game ye military ki script hai and it was something which is perhaps unimaginable some years ago. You know, the, uh, Dawa Sharif and Bilawal Bhutto coming together. Perhaps many would, uh, many outside of Pakistan would see this as completely unexpected. Now, uh, our objectives are very clear. We want to bury this uh, hatred and uh, revenge and all those negative factors. We want to, uh, our politics is politics of unity. And the economic objectives are very, very clear. Pakistan is suffering economically. Uh, there is unemployment, there is inflation, and there is poverty. We have given a program to the nation on how to uh, combat these problems and how to come out of this uh, economic mess. And uh, our negotiations uh, with Muslim League or with any other party are based on uh, these two uh, aspects one uh, that uh, uh, we have to unite the infighting should stop yes. politics of revenge should stop two uh, uh, we have to follow a people centric program Okay, Which, uh, Heather Saab, in a sense, you're reiterating what the army also said today that, you know, uh, perhaps uh, the politics of instability, we should move away from that uh, to more stability. Uh, uh, Munizah Jangir, senior journalist of Pakistan, is also with us. Uh, Munizah, do you see this as, you know, Pakistan army script playing out as well, even though it went awry? Do you think the Pakistan army... Uh, did not anticipate this kind of outpouring of support for uh, the PTI-backed independence. But ultimately, uh, you know, the, the final verdict or the final outcome will not be reflecting 
uh, the, the larger public mood or the popular public mood. What do you have to say on that? Well, you know, like you, we have the first past the post system. So it depends on how many seats a uh, party gets and then they can form, they're in a position to form a coalition. But here I would like to say, because, you know, you talked about Pakistan's failed trust with democracy. In this particular election, more women have taken part in this election. More yes. women have come out and voted. There have been transgenders who have also taken part in this election. So this is very much an endorsement of democracy. And also, um, I think think uh, an achievement of democracy that it has been so inclusive in that way. Um, That's very interesting, Munize. And, and just taking a cue from what you said, do you think it's perhaps a silver lining in this particular election that the military could not completely suppress you know, the popular public mood? Well, absolutely. I don't think that the military has ever been able to suppress the public mood in Pakistan. Pakistani people are very resilient. And they have been very vocal in their uh, in, in 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 how they believe that the military should go back to the barracks and let the civilians, let the politicians govern Pakistan. And that has been consistently the way people have voted in Pakistan, whether it be for Benazir Bhutto after she was killed in 2008, whether it was for Nawaz Sharif in 2013, and whether it was Nawaz Sharif again in 2018. Let me tell you that Nawaz Sharif had fairly and squarely won Punjab. And yes. Punjab was stolen away from them and independents were cobbled together in order to form a government by the PTI um, in 2018. And now, now tables have been reversed and we see Imran Khan in jail and Mia Nawaz Sharif uh, quoted as being somebody who's favored but I do also as you said Munize, as you said Munize, that you know uh, the military has never been able to completely repress the public mood but ultimately it is the army calling the shots and pulling the strings Iftikhar Chaudhary how would you respond to that uh, to, to people who say that Nawaz Sharif struck a deal with the army uh, you know his homecoming was a was a result of that and now also this coalition that we are talking about uh, the coalition in the offing that would also have tacit approval from the military how would you respond to that देखिए जी जहां तक पाकिस्तान की आर्मी का ताल्लुक है इसके सियासतदानों के साथ किसी एक के साथ अच्छे तालुकात एक वक्त में रहते हैं दूसरे वक्त में तालुकात खराब हो जाते हैं जैसे एम क्यू एम के साथ तालुकात काफी हद तक खराब रहे और जनरल जिया ने एक एम क्यू एम को खड़ा किया और इस इलेक्शन में कराची में वो एक बार फिर उभर के आए हैं और बल्कि मैं वो पहले भी बात कर चुका हूं कि कराची की रियल रिप्रेजेंटेशन तो जमात इस्लामी के पास है जी तो उन लोगों को भी कुछ नहीं मिला और हमारे अपने लोगों को भी कुछ नहीं मिला तो ये होता है कि नवाज शरीफ साहब और हम मुझे मुझे एक बात करने दे जी बोले मुझे बात करने कोरम दस्तगीर साहब का आलम ये है कि मैं इन्हीं के शहर में पिंडी से तकरीबन दो किलोमीटर दूर है और दो महीने से वहां पे छुपा रहा मास्टर सिटी में रहा हमारी हालत तो ये है कि पार्टी की लीडरशिप किसी जगह नजर ही नहीं आए ओके लेकिन सो कुरम साहब हाउ वुड यू हाउ वुड यू रिस्पॉन्ड टू दैट कि जो कि अल्टीमेटली इट्स मिलिट्री कॉलिंग द शॉट्स एंड दिस कोलिशन गवर्नमेंट इज गोइंग टू गोइंग टू हैव टैसेट अप्रूवल फ्रॉम द मिलिट्री एंड नवाज शरीफ हेस्ट्रक अ डील विद द मिलिट्री हाउ डू रिस्पॉन्ड टू दैट कुरम दस्तगीर गो हेड द struggle for civilian supremacy in Pakistan is not an overnight process. It's an event and every election takes us nearer to the goal uh, as is written in the Pakistan constitution uh, that after Allah Almighty, the ultimate power in this republic will be in the hands of elected representatives. Okay. And every time, as Munize has correctly said, uh, that uh, this all these claims of manipulation and uh, things being manipulated ultimately every election takes us nearer to that goal so this fractured mandate although it makes life difficult for the coming federal government if it continues and persists to an, to another election uh, done on time uh, we will see ourselves moving nearer to the goal. But, of but what have the people of Pakistan been betrayed? Taj Haider, uh, very quickly, and then I'll give the last word to Munize. Uh, Taj Haider, do you, do you think the people of Pakistan have been betrayed with the Nawaz Sharif uh, yes. government now set to take over? Yes, yes uh, 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 it's Haider. not. Uh, yeah. I mean, we shouldn't focus on persons, we should focus on policies. And uh, if there is a people-centric program uh, which we have given and if this is adopted by the federal government, some relief would be provided 
to the people of Pakistan. Okay. Uh, new jobs can be created. Uh, electricity can be made much cheaper. Uh, production can go up. Uh, cost of production can go down. Exports can go up. And, Those are very uh, big statements, uh, Saj, Heather Saab, and how much of that is actually going to happen? Because Munize, uh, you know, this sort of political instability couldn't have come at a worse time for Pakistan, you know, given the economic uh, chaos and, you know, inflation, price rise and those issues. Do you see Pakistan moving towards some sort of stability? No. Well, I certainly think that Pakistan will move uh, towards some sort of stability once there's a government at the helm of affairs. How long that stability will last is something uh, uh, that we will have to see. And it's usually not the politicians that cause instability in Pakistan. It's often military-backed uh, uh, parties or new parties that have caused that this kind of uh, instability. I would just like to also answer this question, uh, whether you ask whether people's mandate has been stolen. Yes. Uh, at the moment, the way the numbers are going, PMLN is the largest political party that has secured numbers. The next are the independents and they are not all backed by the PTI. So it okay. now depends so on how and you, India knows how well uh, coalitions are done. But I'd just like to finish my point that actually the mandate will be stolen because People voted for PMLN thinking and expecting that Mia Nawaz Sharif will become Prime Minister and not Shabazz Sharif. So now if a different Prime Minister candidate is brought forward by the party, yes. I think that's when people will be disappointed. Because many expectations will also have to be managed if it's going to be a coalition government. So, you know, there's no clarity as of now. But thanks for that perspective. Thank you very much, all of you, for joining us.